guys. Uh, welcome to Table Talk. This is a show where we talk about your topics from Twitter via the hashtag Table Talk or on reddit.com slash r slash sourcefed and we talk about them around the table. I'm Trish Hershberger. I'm William Haynes. I'm Sarah Fletcher. We have Sarah Fletcher on today, guys. Man, so Sarah Fletcher, hey, hey. I've never been on a Table Talk with yes. you and I'm glad that I am. Let's just... I'm so glad. Me if too. I can oh, bring your pretty. hand over here. Oh, yeah. Mm, get that. You mm. have a you soft know. hand, too. Trisha oh, has you. the softest hands in the world. Did really? you know that? No. I don't know if they're the softest in the Her world. Oh, wow. You do have really soft hands. Wait, look really? at that. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, I'll take it. I'm going to do this all day. <laughs> That's, That's what I would nice. do. Did you call her Sarah Fletchley? I did call her Sarah, Sarah Fletchley. Will has a Lee thing. He puts yeah. Lees on yeah, things. Trish Lee, Sarah Fletchley. It's mm -hmm. unique. Everybody gets Sarah a Lee, thing. Which is, you know, like pie. Yeah, they they make like pie. Pie does it like Sarah Lee. Isn't that a thing? It is a thing. Right? I'm it's, remembering that right. I, I got like halfway through it and I was like, is that Maybelline? Shit. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's, is it Maybelline? Maybe like, it's Maybelline. Lloyd, thank you. It's Maybe. 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 Let's go. Let's go ahead, go. Sarah. Guess first. Yeah, oh, guess. Guess yeah. first. Oh, guess first. I thought you said guess first. Guess like, oh, I have a mint in my mouth, and I'm not enunciating properly. I didn't know you guess. had a mint in your mouth, and I've been talking to you for minutes. Okay. Should my brush my nice? Ooh. Yep. Smells mm -hmm. like a mint, I'd say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, this is from Heckity Darn. Heckity Darn. <laughs> on Reddit. <laughs> on Reddit, mm -hmm. yes. What job prior to SourceFed has been your favorite, and why? Ooh. Do I have to talk about when I was a hooker, or can I just... If that was your favorite. We've talked about hookers a lot today, haven't have we? Have we? <laughs> yeah, we have. Uh, Lots of hookers in the house. I'd say I worked at a youth center uh, when I was in high school. Ooh. Source is my first full-time job, as you mm -hmm. guys made me admit that one time at that thing. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, it w I would I would like film stuff for youth like I so as I've explained before I come from mm -hmm. the, the the deep hood like real deep in there and all the kids were like so deep you gotta fish people so, out so of it you gotta fish people <laughs> like that's how they got me out I came out and I was like oh what Los Angeles image of like string were they using uh, a line thick, what was your line thick. okay the, like okay. a two millimeter I don't know what they always talk <laughs> about millimeters when they're describing something but uh, uh in there all the kids always wanted music videos so they'd be like hey yo Will film my music video and I'd be like I don't wanna and then I <laughs> then, then I turn it on and be like yeah when you in the trap and you about to slap rap tap and then I'd just be there like this filming it and uh -huh. I do some cool moves and that was my job but I liked it I actually that's really a cool it. job and did the kids where, love it were they like yeah yes. no matter what you did they were oh, like okay. oh my gosh I'm on a video screen this is the greatest thing in the world mm -hmm. but because of that I learned editing skills there which I really, really uh -huh. it, it, it later put on into uh -huh. my life and then that's how I work here now and that's how your videos on the William Haynes channel are so well edited. Oh, thank you. On you William Haynes it? TV, go that? subscribe. <laughs> I, I just, I would Just dab that a little, just smudge it. Just a little. That's why Will's my baby boy. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Trisha. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have noticed. He just, he just needs a little, a little help baby. sometimes. A little baby, just, maybe. He just needs a little, little Now it's help. everywhere. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but that's such a cool part-time job. Yeah, it was cool. You know what it made me think of? Like, what's that camp called that, like, Rebecca... Black and those other people go to where they make oh, the music videos. Yeah, and there and there's like a bunch of girls that go through it, but they I think they pay a lot of money. Yeah, they it's it's there. like a super rich kid camp, but they like come out of it with a music video. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you could have just gone to William Haynes. Could have gone yeah. to me, and I would have done I it for free. You would have made you a video for free. I would have like, done You would have done like a Wednesday video instead of Friday. Yeah, mm -hmm. it would have been Wednesday, Wednesday. School is shorter on Wednesday right. in California. You know I love that song. Mm. That's my favorite. It's when he gets to that music trail. video. Oh, you'll get to see it soon enough. I used to have a soundboard on my phone from that song. So oh, like, that's amazing. yeah, so you could just be like, party and party and yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you think that, like, yeah, was, was it like, appropriate moments in your yeah, life? Yeah, it's unappropriate. You so like, I go to the bathroom yeah. and I'm like, party and party and <laughs> yeah. yeah, flush. Did you like yep. it ironically or were you just I think like, it's amazing, I think it's hilarious. I think it's because you like kids, you like No, kids. no, it's not, it has nothing to do with kids. It's hilarious in the same way that The Hoff and Donny well, Osmond are hilarious, which we were talking about earlier. Mm. By the way, can mm -hmm. we pay for you to go to the camp? <laughs> Like, I'm, not, I'm actually, like, I'm kind of not even kidding. What can we make, guys, I will have money. the next hit single. Can we raise money, like, That's, on... What was the other one? The other one that got big was sh You're Wearing My Jeans or, or something the Thanksgiving like that. One. Yes, and the, the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those people must hate their job. They're like, you know, I made so <laughs> many music videos. I'm just going to... Write this kid well, no, the guy things. that's in charge of it appears in all the videos. He does like a little rap segment in yeah. all the videos. Oh, that guy? Yeah, uh -huh. he like owns the kid. Big Usher, they call him? Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> we should blow your mind. I don't 
don't yeah. think he hates. I don't think he hates his job he had at a all. Genius idea. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna hit the demo <laughs> button on my keyboard. Right. As well, but I'm gonna make this <laughs> Nova. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, we should pay for you to go do this and make. That'd be hilarious. What song would you come I would out make with, Tristan? The best. Well, let's see. They all write about something that they're passionate about, like Thanksgiving, <laughs> or that girl's wearing my jeans, mm -hmm. or how much you love Fridays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. What are you passionate about? That you would oh, like want to write a music video. Oh man, I could do a music video about Diablo. Diablo Hearthstone. <laughs> yeah, okay. Diablo Hearthstone. Hearthstone. No, it would have to. It would have to be about Middle Earth. Middle if Earth. If I'm gonna go with like, okay, that would be a really a good hit single about video. Middle Earth. It'd be awesome. Can you imagine the costumes that you could have? I better get to be a Hobbit in it. You want to be a Hobbit? Course, Out of yeah. all of those things, you yeah. want to be a Hobbit? Always. I've been watching. Have you seen their houses? They're so cute. They are mm -hmm. cute. They are all all. Mm -hmm. all I mean, with the little organic. rounded. Someday yes. when I own a house, I'm. It's going to be a Hobbit hold door. There's a there's a Hobbit house. There's a Hobbit house. I swear. In L. A. Yes, it's like if you drive down P C H. Okay. I think it's near Big Rock. It is. I and like if you drive. Field it's trip. Like it's technically yeah. not a Hobbit house, but it looks like a Hobbit house. It looks like something that came out. And every mm -hmm. time I drive by, I yell, though no one hears me, Hobbit house, and Hobbit then house. I. That's it. That's, That's very exciting. It <laughs> I've been enlightened more about the Lord of the Rings universe because over the past week, I've probably spent six hours watching Steve play Mordor. And oh, it's scary. Shadow of Mordor. It's scary. No joke. It's mm -hmm. like those orcs. Like, mm -hmm. how do they? What? Is, what kind of world is this that they live in? Middle it's Earth. So, it's so different. <laughs> Middle Earth. It, it's so different from like where the hobbits live. And well, that's the Shire. Oh, they're the Shire. She'll yeah. explain it all in her mm -hmm. music video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll all be in the video. It's also happy, in the, but we don't go to Mordor. What? At the end. It's all yeah. a happy music video, and then you're like, but then we don't go to Mordor <laughs> at the end. You have, to, you have to destroy the ring. Well, it depends where you are in the series, if we're going to be honest. Oh, okay. Um, but yes. No, that would be awesome, and that would be my favorite job if I got a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. That would be a favorite job. Oh, if you guys Because the question's favorite job. I'm trying to pay for oh, you. Yeah, oh, yeah, Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Okay, so wait. We're not just talking about stuff. Prior to Source so, Fed. We're on a prior show. Prior to Source Fed. So, Sarah, what's been your favorite job? <laughs> wait, you haven't said yours. Um... I have a, a lot of weird jobs. I've had the weirdest jobs ever. Um, I would say probably cool. magician's assistant work. Yeah, but that's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. That's You've really been cool. chopped into pieces. Mm -hmm. Have you really? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, how did it feel? Awesome. Got, like when you got put back together, were you like? I felt like a whole person again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's really, it's really a good time. It's, it's very fun. It's, uh, well, I mean, my degree's in you theater, so like stage performance. That's what I love. I love having the live audience and just getting to play on stage. And magic is a hundred percent that. If I was a billionaire, there are a lot of things that I would do. But being a magician is it's definitely pretty awesome. One of them, because I would make the worst <laughs> magician show. No, it takes a lot of work. You'd have to, or would you do bad on purpose? I would do it bad on purpose. Wait, but if you were okay. a billionaire, meaning like you would like, like, I didn't have to worry about money, and I can just like. Work oh, so, okay. so he could afford all of the most expensive. Yeah. Oh, oh man. What would be your first illusion that you would do? Well, I pay for a person on death row and I get to kill him on stage. <laughs> <laughs> what are they, like 500 Ooh. bucks? I'm just kidding. That actually, they, I, I was just researching Frankenstein. Um, yes, oh, Frankenstein. Yeah. I was researching Frankenstein and they did that. Scientists used to like no bring way. corpses of prisoners on stage and like do them like shows for people, like in the theater. Like, and now I'm going to use electricity and bring this corpse back to life and then just like electrocute people. This ain't Mordor. Like, like some real <laughs> stuff goes on on Earth you wow. have no idea about. Mm -hmm. I think humanity has a pretty dark past. Yeah. And currently dark past. Yeah. It, like in a thousand years from now, we're going to be like, wow, they would only wash their hands three times a day. Right. Like, <laughs> well, if you think about it now, we look back and we're like, entertainment in Rome was like, yeah, watch that dude get ripped apart by a lion. That's right. awesome. Watch those two dudes battle it out to the death. Yeah. yeah we yeah. still have like UFC. Like, I, I, I know like UFC is, everybody loves it, but I cannot watch <laughs> UFC. Dudes it's are like kicking for each you. other's in the face. Yeah. I'm like, what? What, how is this entertainment? My sister loves it. My sister is it. yelling at the TV like, yeah, yeah, beat her up, beat her up. Because they have girl ones too. And it, I just, I don't, <laughs> I can't, I can't. It's not for you. I like boxing though, I get boxing. Boxing, okay, is, no, boxing, boxing is pretty brutal. Like, there's some dignity in boxing. I mean, there's no kicking. So like, you know, they're like, it, it, it's That's it, it's all difficult. the dignity right. goes out the window. Yeah, UFC, kicking. you are just fighting. You are yeah, just they're fighting. fighting. I mean, but they're, mm -hmm. I mean, they go through some pretty crazy training, too. And yeah, and they have martial arts. And, yeah, there's mm -hmm. all kinds of other additional. Would I mean, you do I, it? No, I mean, no. I, would, I don't want cauliflower ear. I think, totally I think Sarah I mean, I, you know, it would, would be really painful. I think Sarah would be champion. I, you know what I would do? I would just ball punches. I guess I would be only going against girls. Okay, so I just can't, be like, can't do that, right? Punches. Isn't that, yeah, that's against the rules. I would just pretend. You can't go so right short. for the nuts. We should, we should make that a comfort zone where a source fed goes to freaking UFC fight. I want a UFC and fight. And trains with a... You, Sarah. Yes. I you want to do it? 
I want to throw you into a ring and hurt you. Do you pick me up and throw me in first or just... Well, I don't know. In my head, I imagined me like slamming you down, like th th your back hitting in the ground like that. But I don't think I'm strong <laughs> I mean, enough to do we'd that. We have to have you both in like big padded sumo yes. wrestler suits so that you don't. She can be one. I want to get hurt. hurt. I want to get hurt. Do you, really? nah. I'm just you just want to feel no. real. You're like I, I just want to feel real. it. I, I know you, anything. William Haynes. You I are am. not about getting hurt. I will go far out of my way to not get hurt. <laughs> Right. I'll go far out of my wow. way to not risk getting hurt. Right. Like, like you don't even hold, handle like paper because you're like, I don't want to get a paper like, cut. No, I, I never get paper cuts because people are always like, oh, I'm going to just pick up anything. I'm like, no. You have like a, oh, wow. Yeah. You have like a technique. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, mm, no matter what I do, I'm like, I'm not going to get hurt because I don't like feeling Will, pain. Will has his own set of rules. Mm -hmm. oh. William oh. Haynes rules. It's and called Williamism. Follows them. Mm -hmm. I'm a Williamist. It's okay, so how does William eat? <laughs> Uh, very, very simply. Uh, very, very, very simply. I think, weren't we talking about this? We did talk about this. No food touches your no lips. No food. I don't let food touch my lips. So how is that such a liar? Uh, I'm just kidding. I forget why we were saying that. I, I don't remember why. The, the conversation. It was about here. how things you don't do in the office. Was it about that? What was it about? Was that what it was about? Oh, gosh. Uh, no. You were saying you don't like anything touching your lips, but it had something to do with your face. I don't remember. <laughs> no I feel like I said something really demonic, but I don't remember. Okay. You know, when everything's demonic, nothing is. Okay. It's okay, baby. <laughs> it's okay. Sarah, what's your worst job? No. Or favorite job? Favorite job. Uh, I've had a lot of random jobs, mm -hmm. uh, but I would say that the one... I, I, so maybe not my favorite, but one that I really loved and enjoyed is I used to be a sign language interpreter. Awesome. No way. Yeah. Show I, us some dang sign language uh, right now. Well, this is the sign for sign language. Okay. What kind of signs do you want to know? I know lots of bad ones. How do you say uh, hippopotamus? Probably hippopotamus, but you'd probably hippo. Or you'd spell it. Wow. Yeah. Hippo, and That's then, so cool. I, I actually don't, you know, I've never had to use the word hippopotamus before. That's a really random, <laughs> that's a really random word to choose. Will's really good at really every, random choices. I really like this throwing is, I mean, technically off. this is squirrel, so like you would probably, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, because hippo's got, maybe hippo? So did, what did you translate for? Hippo. Uh, for all different kinds of job situations. Like theater productions or? I never did theater, that's a very like specific skill mm. set. So I worked at a couple different colleges um, and then I would also do freelance and so like one of my clients worked at Disneyland. Okay. So I got to go like behind the scenes and interpret it. So anywhere anybody would go, you know, I would go and interpret for different deaf people. It was actually a really awesome. cool job because I got to be in these really random situations and learn a lot of really interesting things. Are there any rude deaf people? I mean, there's rude people no matter what language you speak. How about that? But I never, I actually was really lucky. I never encountered anybody who was rude to me. Any Everyone loud nice. deaf people? Anybody that's like... Yeah. Is sure. that how that's, you sign that, loudly? Think, is that an insensitive joke? Uh, I hope so. No, I mean, I, I mean, there are, I mean, I think like anybody, there's variations in any community that you would find. So there, you know, just mm -hmm. as there's loud, you know, hearing people, there's loud deaf people. It just made me think of when you said that, and you're like, oh, is that an insensitive joke? I'm sorry. Did you see? This is so random. I love it. Did you see <laughs> the American Idol where um, a blind guy had auditioned and was wonderful? He was a wonderful singer. He comes out of the audition, and Ryan Seacrest is like, great job! Oh, yes. Oh, no! Yes. Oh, uh, he tried no. to give him a high five, and then he just like moved his hand to where his hand is, and he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. I, that's one of those <laughs> things, like, when you watch it, you, you feel so you're bad. so big. Well, and then... Like, yeah, you, he's live all the time, and he, ne like, Ryan Seacrest is live you all the time. I love Ryan Seacrest. I do, because he's live all he's the time and host. rarely ever messes up and works, like, six host. jobs at a time. Like, he's, wor like, you work a lot, he works a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Ryan Seacrest actually um, has genetically mutated other versions of himself. Right, to go and out and do jobs at right. the same time. But he has to feed them, so it's difficult. But he almost <laughs> never messes up, so when you see something like that, you're like, oh! Because he never... That's a pretty... I mean, that's... The, he's that's pretty a, on point with stuff. That, yeah. I, I give it to him. To I'll the point where I him. wondered, did he do it on purpose? Like, did he do it on purpose as a joke and then was like, that's probably not tasteful and tried to back out of it? Or... Mm. Because he doesn't mess up. Who would do that? I don't that? know. I feel like that's one of those things... <laughs> not even Steve would do that. I don't know about that. Mm, I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put <laughs> it past him. <laughs> I feel like maybe he was just sort of like... You know, like you're in the moment and you're going for right, it. Right, or maybe he just like, didn't even think about it. We've never once right. seen Ryan Seacrest give anyone else a high five. It was well, on purpose. Well, he high fives people. He, yeah. he chest bumps people and high nope. fives people. No, Conspiracy on. 2014. I, I want a chest bump from Ryan Seacrest. I do too. Ryan Seacrest, if you ever see this, I'm coming for you. Ryan Seacrest, if you ever watch these, know that I, I love you. 
I find you we'll okay. We'll chest bump for you. I find yeah. you all right, Ryan Seacrest. I think you're an incredibly talented person. Mm -hmm. You're cool. I don't want to have your babies, but I would like to have your talent. Like, yeah. if I could just take it out of you and put it into me, that'd be fantastic. Well, you find one of his clones wandering around. Mm -hmm. I could say the same thing about you know? me, too. I and don't want to have his babies. It. You yeah. don't want to have his babies? I don't want to have his babies, yeah. but I would like to have his talent. Right? It'd be hmm. pretty good. On all the time. Okay, so okay. fling this while Will's picking a new topic. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, right. I have to... What do you think this is going to say? You've done this before, Mama. You got this. I know. This is a lot of pressure, you guys. I was so close last time. Uh... Dak Daddy says, what food or drink do you wish you could like the taste of? Oh, goodness. Oh, I think easy. Just I wish Wait, okay. I wish that I could like beer. I just don't. You hate Oh, no, it was so oh, bad. Oh, that's no. okay. It was a good try. No. Do you, do you have any thoughts on why it was so far off? Yes, it had too much oh. power. I just, I just. Too much power. Oh, too much you did, power. I don't think you, okay. you, you, you mixed it up and mixed it up. I don't think you uh, made that's it. That's what I was going to say. I think the shape of your. Oh. I can't give you any, uh, like, uh, tips because I've never <laughs> oh, even man. gotten close. I've gotten close once. Have but. you guys ever thrown this at the camera? No. <laughs> uh, but I, Official Strensum's topic launcher? If I could uh, like the taste of anything, it would be uh, uh, hot Cheetos. Or where I call them, where I come from, they call them hot chips. Um, because oh. it, when I was a kid growing up, once again, mm -hmm. I don't like pain, and spicy food is right. like pain it's on pain. your tongue. Yeah. But for some reason, people like it. I feel the same way about spicy foods as I do about scary movies, is why would you put yourself through that? I 100% agree with you. Yeah. It's been passed on genetically to my yes, son. Yes, from, from my mother, I get mm -hmm. it. That You're not I don't into get spicy food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. so when I was I'm a kid, all either. the kids every day would eat these chips, and I'm sure are. are, are Molding the inside of their bodies and painting it red yeah. with color dye, whatever. But like, I just I don't like them. I don't. Okay. I had the hot. But fries. why do you wish you could like them? I mean, just because I want to be part of the status quo. You know what okay. I'm saying? But the hot fries are all right. I ate those a couple times. You like, want to belong? Yeah. I want to belong. That's my thing with beer. Like, I when people like go out to grab a beer and I'm all like, no. Nah. Yeah, but there's some like really it. great sours out there and like quadrupels and stuff. There's some really good beer. Well, out there. see, that's what everybody says. And like, I've gone to beer, beer tastings and I'll like sip and I'll understand the okay. difference in the hoppiness. It's just not for me. I just don't like it, but I no, wish I could. Yeah. Okay. So this is something you would like, but you don't like. Right. So something, a uh, uh, food or drink you would like to like. Um, I mean, I don't like spicy foods. Mm. But do you want to like spicy foods? You food? know what it is? Uh, I have a texture issue. So, so things that are okay. rubbery, like I can't do... Calamari. I can't, you, oh, you know the little baby oh, ones? Yeah. The little baby they ones? They look like have, little full squids. They look like little full squids. There's, I'm like, I don't need my food to be in the same form that it, it was. That it was. <laughs> it's I'm like, I don't want, and it's also their little heads just like kind of explode in your mouth and you're just like, ugh, ugh. You know what, I totally agree I with you. Really? When food looks like the animal it yeah, is, right. like how I see like, uh, like Lieberman comes in here and like twice <laughs> a week we'll eat a full chicken. We'll eat a full <laughs> rotisserie chicken. I'm like, what, why would I? I, and I, now he's being healthy. I feel it, tremendously guilty about eating meat all the time, but like I just, especially when it looks like the animal, I'm like or, I can't. Do I it. love when it looks like the animal. I'm a big fan of like weird meats and weird animal things. Because you hate animals, like, and you that's your way of getting back at them. That, uh -huh, maybe it's I'm subconsciously you. related, yeah. but <laughs> no, I do. Like I love like you go down to Florida, you can get gator. Oh. You need like gator is nuggets. Gator like. Oh, I try that. Is it like what's it? It's like chewy chicken. Okay, it's like chewy chicken. That's not I bad. I always say it's like. But chicken. like snake or like I don't know when you eat frog legs, like it totally looks like frogs. Like it's. Yeah, I, I love that. it. Yeah. I li like I like those little baby squids. I'm like, come here, little baby squid. <sighs> See now, I want food that looks like other food but isn't the food, like Swedish mm -hmm. fish. It's definitely not it fish. It doesn't look. It's not fish. <laughs> I've never seen it. Red Swedish with little. Yes, candies. you have little candies, little red candy fish. Nope. Or like, like goldfish. No, they're like chewy gummies. Mm -hmm. No. They're delicious. They're never so seen good. I don't know what's going on. I think on we've had them in the office before. I've never been to the office. Goldfish. Goldfish <laughs> are also good. I've never been to the office before. Because they're crackers. Because they're crackers. You know, or like Teddy Grahams. Teddy Grahams. Not real bears. They're, they're not real bears. Oh, you're Thank so cute. God, they're not real bears. <laughs> I don't or eat the broken ones. Or Dunkaroos, right. Mm hmm. Yeah. All very good. So, yeah, so rubbery things you can't do, but you would like to do. Yeah, because I think there's some like really interesting seafoods that I would I won't try. Okay. Or like mushrooms that are cooked just wrong, like something. Like oh that. yeah. Sometimes rubber. they get weird. That rubber texture. Yeah, sometimes they get weird and rubbery. Are right, you gonna fling it, Will? Oh shoot, yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, you got. Oh, it. that's a strategy. Whoa. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I was—I don't know if we're using the uh, the GoPro on this one, but that 
That was whoa, way up high. Just because you have it. two points doesn't mean I do have two points. I'll, but I'm not good at this. I don't. I'm still not good at oh, it. Oh, I'm, I'm just the best novice, but I, I'm not. No, Steve just, is tied with me. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was there when he got a second yeah. one, I think. Um, okay, Blue Monkey at Blue 6789 says If you have ever taken a language class, what was it like? Well, you have we speak? all taken language classes? I've taken I mean, I took you speak language? Year, I mean, well, sign language. I took years and years and years. There you language. go. Just I'm, just <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, I mean, it was like a, it was like language, it was like linguistics. Hmm. That's really that doesn't that's a giving you okay. a description. No, actually, I really loved my sign language classes, but that's because I. That's what you wanted to learn. I, it. Yeah, I think that's so, easier so to, to pick up than a than like a, a spoken language or no more. No, difficult. I think what happens yeah. is people go into you know how like if you meet someone they're like I took French in high school. Yeah, you know if you take sign language in high school it's the same thing. I mean they have ASL is a completely different linguistic grammar structure. Mm. Okay, so they topicalize a lot of stuff. Um, their you know sentences are determined by your eyebrows and what your eyebrows are doing. Weird. And like you phenomenalize um, by placement of like. Your spa your signing spatial, so it's actually very I love complex. It. It's very complex. How do you say because? Oh, well, never mind. All right. Or because it depends on which part of the country you're from. Because there's some dialectal differences. Wow, them I love it so them much. Southerners. Mm -hmm. Because that's how I do because, but I love that so much. That's so cool. Because, but that's kind of different because that's part of ASO. Now it's say like, something why? dirty. Well, like what? Like Some what? Mean. Like what? Something mean. How about you don't tell us what it is? You just sign it, and we'll let the audience tell us in the comments what it is. All right. Okay. I'll do it one more time. I'm pretty sure that means donkey punch. It, it's not something dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the first part of it is either something dirty or something not dirty. It actually has two different meanings. Okay. See what she did with her I eyebrows. I feel like I know what this is. What do you think it is? <laughs> I feel like I know what that is. <laughs> Uh, it's like my uncle mean, taught me that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, f I feel like that means penetration. Uh, it, well, that, there's a different type as well. No, oh. so there's many. So that was types. with the pink. We had here's what was great. <laughs> oh, I said it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> here's what was great. As I so actually what is went, what's this type? I mean, you would just do, I mean, I think you would just say that, but we had, um, I actually went to Los Angeles Pierce College, which is very close to here. Yeah. They have an amazing, amazing interpreter program. I actually moved from Ohio out here for it. Okay. You're and from Ohio? I'm from Ohio. No, that's why, that's kidding, why no. I like her so much. <laughs> and um, we had an entire sex and drugs class. Like, the entire class was just sex and drug sign, which was the most amazing class ever because our teacher then allowed us to interpret George Carlin stand up. Oh boy. So like we would go and find George Carlin stand up on YouTube and then bring it in and then we would get to interpret Whoa. in class, which was so much fun. There's like a million different ways to say sex. It's a really it's a beautiful language. And that's how Sarah became a comediesman. I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. Yeah, our teachers were really cool. That's very Cindy cool. Herbst. If you ever see this video, you were amazing. Darlene Whitman. Same as well. You're both retired, but I love mm -hmm. you guys. Ian Bader, thank you for <laughs> teaching me jokes in high school. Is that the language you took in high oh, yeah, school? Nope, he was just my English teacher, okay. and he was funny. That's a language English class. Oh, language. wait, we're talking about uh, language classes. I yeah. had a Spanish class. I think I got up to, like, Spanish 3, three and I cannot tell you any. Any Spanish. Because my school is the kind of school where you show up, and they're like, wow, you're exceptional. <laughs> wow, you're doing so much better than other students. I'm just here. Uh, uh, so okay. yeah, I remember there was this whole thing about uh, like esta, estar, and I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. conjugate that verb, baby. I was like, <laughs> there are some people's brains who are good at things like that, <laughs> and I say jokes, you know. Okay. Um, Do you yeah. have like a saying in Spanish that you like, you like, yeah, is a joke that you like came up with? Orale, that's that's about it. What's that's that? it's just, just I heard George Lopez say it a lot, and I used to say it a lot in What's high school. Mean? Like like I, 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 for my memory, it's like. Good, 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 do do it. Like, what was it? Mean? Okay. Hell yeah. All right. Like, go get him, tiger. Yeah, like, like, person. I forget. Like, Andale? I was very into George Lopez in high school, and I had Spanish class in high school at the same time. Okay, uh, well, they, then they mix. Then they mix. Yeah, yeah. I took French and Spanish and Latin. Oh, my goodness. All through, um, well, French and Spanish. French was all through high school, Spanish a little bit in college, and Latin all through. 
Um, because it's funny because you're like some people's brains work like that. Mm -hmm. My brain works really well for the conjugating and like the visual kind of mathematical parts of the language. But as far as like listening and comprehending it and then speaking mm. it back out, my brain does not do that well. So like I can read and write French really well. I can't speak French. Very it is well. interesting how like application stuff changes with languages. Like after going mm -hmm. through the interpreter program, it was interesting to me how like my brain sort of like has to like would have to learn how to switch between mm -hmm. watching versus so in but for speaking cases it would be you know auditory versus well yeah they said you'd actually have to go and live there for a little while like to get your brain to really embrace what that is because I still like if someone speaks French to me I have to like, like well, ask them to slow down and actually think about what they're saying and how those words would be spelled do you have a favorite, favorite to figure French out what they're saying phrase um. Puis j'allais à double WC, which is, may I please go to the bathroom? Ooh. I know, it's very exciting. But in Latin, um, this is a joke, so this isn't how you really say it in Latin, but semper ubi sub ubi, always wear underwear. It's the wrong kind of wear. Wait, hang on. <laughs> um, semper ubi sub, sub ubi. It's actually ubi? not right, because it's semper is always. Okay. Ubi is where, like, where is that? Semper ubi, okay. Sub is under. Okay. And ubi again. So ubi. always wear underwear. I mean, it's not uh, technically Lorm correct, but it's silly. Lorm Ipsum. Okay. What does that mean? I don't know, but when you open up <laughs> a program, it says Lorm Ipsum, which is Latin. Oh. Like, Lorm Ipsum. I'm, I'm sorry. You ever have, okay. I just had a memory Anybody while we were sitting Back here. Home? At okay. Home? What, that uh, I had this Spanish teacher who would say, who, like, I don't know, he was my teacher for long because stuff get it, get happened to him. Get it, get it. But he would oh, always. Oh, so close! So close. Oh. so close! I had this teacher who was obsessed with the author, or Jorge Borges, and he would always <laughs> say, Jorge Borges, like, you probably heard me and Steve say, Guru Lagima. Yeah. Guru Lagima, Guru Lagima. Uh, that was his, <laughs> Jorge Borges, and had us read Jorge Borges' book. And I just, that was just so boring to me. Not Jorge Borges, his uh -huh. books were fine. Okay. It was him talking about him all the time, which was. Whew, that was a memory I just forgot about for years. That was so just that recalled was, yeah. right now for mm -hmm. all of us. I went back yeah. about five years. Thank you for that gift, Will. <laughs> Thank oh, you for that shuddering. lovely gift. Was it that horrible of an experience? Yeah, he was a really boring teacher. Oh. I don't remember his name. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so guys, tell us in the comments section, um, A, a if you know what, what Sarah said in sign language, and um, <laughs> B, let us know your favorite saying in another language in the comments section. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, annotation, all that stuff, and continue the conversation on Twitter via hashtag table talk or on reddit.com slash r slash source. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. You can do this. Like. Like? Like, like two fingers together. Uh-huh. Like. Oh, so like you take that your heart? That means something like else it. where I'm like. from. Like. See, there you go. You can do that. Like. Like. I was taught not to do that to a woman. But <laughs> well, she didn't say you go up to somebody else and then go, hey, like. Trisha, I like you. <laughs> yeah. Me, <laughs> 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 me. Will's going to approach a lady next time and be like, I, I like, like you. you. Oh, my <laughs> use, your, use this finger. There you go. Oh, this one. There you go. I can't even, yeah. Am I doing that right? Yeah. I was also told not to do that to a woman as well. <laughs> but okay. All right. I'm done. <laughs> and let us know the things that you're not supposed to do to a woman. Oh. Have a nice day, guys. <laughs>